Hey guys, it's me, Jello Pineda, your middle class sneakerhead, and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing two sneakers, only two sneakers, but they are worth about 350,000 pesos. So, stay tuned. Thank you so much for checking on this video today guys and I do hope you guys are having a wonderful day and if you're new here please make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and if matagal ka narito tol thank you very much for sticking with me. We are here once again kila Boss RD, Boss RD and we are with Boss Jack. They are behind the camera and Wow. Para sa buckets no. Dalawang buckets eh. Ako si Foamy without the foam bro. So actually First time ko lang din makakita ng ganitong sneaker. And yes, totoo, totoo ang nakita mo, it's not a clickbait. Both sneakers, pag pinag-combine mo yung price, would cost about uh, 300,000 or to 350,000 pesos. Of course, ito hindi naman sila basa-basa sneakers. These are one of the most grailed sneakers, most sought after, most anticipated din talaga sila. Oh, we've looked a little about their history and uh, pag-usapan natin yan in today's video. So without further ado, mas masukat ko rin ba to? Hindi mo. Eh, sinukat mo na ba ito? Hindi. Hindi ba? <laughs> Alright. So, what we have right here is an Air Force One. So, makikita mo medyo nag-shine ng konti. Yung parang gloss print niya that says Force. Uh, and it is primarily white box. And here, to give it away, Air Force One 07 Virgil. And this one is the MCA or the uh, Museum of Contemporary Art na off-white sneaker. Whoop! Dali. Sumabit. Sumabit yung tag. Alright, so... Kayo muna makakita bago ako. Grabe. Oh, wow! Wow! Ibang klase. Alright, so let's pull these sneakers out. Ooh. MCA bro, MCA. And then inside the box, wala naman. We just have a tissue paper and it has may nakasulat lang na force. Alright. Sa Cactus Jack ba na Air Force One? Ganun din. Force lang din ako sulat. Na. So, let's go ahead and check on this sneaker. Wow, first time ko lang siya makita. Ito siya guys. Ah, huh? uh, sir! Kaya naman details so oh. Paano siya naging... Magkano ang resale price ito at the moment? Going for? Dito nasa 150. 150,000. Then, depende. De 130, depende sa seller. Depende sa size. Uh, and this one is a size 11. Uy, size ko. Size ko to, bro. Ay, hindi, hindi. Sa Air Force 1, hindi ako siya tumalaki. Before we go ahead and check on the details, siguro pag-usapan muna natin yung history ng sneaker na to. So, this was released sa MCA or Museum of Contemporary Art ni Virgil Abloh, owner and the founder of Off-White. So, it, isa to sa mga designs niya na very limited ang sobrang limited it's very hard to get although syempre makakuha ka naman kasi meron naman resellers that are willing but if you are willing to pay for the price kasi unang ano yan parang teaser sa mga Instagram photos so it's me ano nga yung virgin so talagang ano siya yan no? tapos then later on rinaganuhan niya si ano Serena Williams yung tennis player ah oh, Serena Williams siya yung unang unang nakakuha ng pair na yan Oh, smokes. Yung signed, ano, signed. Ni Virgil. Dito, ano? The usual. Hindi natin nakasulat eh. For Serena only. Ano talaga? Nakasulat sa Minso. Apart from yung The Ten ni Off-White. Apart from The Ten. Museum naman. Yung mga Air Force One, diba? Una yung Complex Con. Complex Con. Ah, Complex Con, yes. And then yung MoMA. Yung Museum of Modern Art. Which is in New York? New York, yeah. New York, siya. Yeah. yeah, I think. Third, yeah. Kung alam mo guys, comment mo sa baba. And then yung third, yan. Yung MCA sa Chicago. Yung Contemporary Art. Parang yeah. nagkaroon si Virgin dun ng, ano, parang pop-up exhibit. Oo, uh, exhibit ng mga uh, art niya. Ang mga unreleased na off-white. May, may nakita pa ako dun na Jordan 4 five, yata. Uh, unreleased. Unreleased. Five, five. Yellow. Ay, yellow. Five, 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 five na yellow. 
Pero off the bat, ang ganda ng leather niya. Hindi siya like yung mga normal na Air Force One na leather niya na nakikita natin. Ibang klaseng leather siguro. Although sabi nga nila, para parehas lang naman yung leather. It's just that siguro mas uh, premium lang yung feel nitong sa sneaker na to. Iba siya dun sa mga lumabas na Uh -oh. All right, so let's go ahead and check on the sneaker. The majority of the sneaker is in leather, and as I mentioned kanina, yung maganda yung quality of leather niya. As per the box here, it says here University Blue or Blue Carolina, parang UNC Blue. UNC. See here that it has a, a silver swoosh na parang stitched lang dito sa side. Parang swoosh. Foil? Wrinkled. Uh, ah, yung texture niya, no? Yan. Siya yung mapino na swoosh. Unlike yung dun sa, ano, unlike yung dun sa Terra Kiger. Ah, uh, medyo, yeah. ano. As well as you see here, the signature red. Ah, hindi siya orange this time. Hindi, talagang red. Red siya, oo. Oh, oh. On the laces, you have, off the bat, you have white laces or white standard flat laces with shoelaces here on the tip. It does come with extra set of laces. And in UNC blue. You would also see here the off-white zip tie that says off-white care of Nike C 2017 zip tie. And black, black in font. Uh, black in font. Usually, because white, de ba? Yung iba yung sa daten. Yung mga fake kasi yung mga black yung font. Pero yung sa mga white then? Uh, tongue, you will see here na it's it has a deconstructed vibe here dito sa sock liner even dito sa tongue ayun instead na nike or yung ano meron siyang off na nakasulat that represents off white nasa side pala yung tag niya inside the sneaker you have a mesh sock liner as well and you have an insole with off white and nike logo now on the medial side of the sneaker you will see the same swoosh wrinkled silver swoosh na tinahe dito sa side as, as well as the off white paragraph Ito, this one. Outline. Ito, yeah. ito original. Tapos parang tinitan ni Virgil from here. Standard Air Force One midsole. Of course, it's in blue. And you will see here the Air branding. Yung text na Air dito sa side. Moving to your outsole, you will see here the stand, a standard Air Force One outsole in university blue color. Yung Air dito sa likod, dito sa pull tab niya, which usually may nakita tayo na Nike, swoosh, tapos Air. Medyo may nakatakip sa kanya na high perfuse material na it's stitched on as well. Overall, uh, for me, syempre maganda ang colorway niya. Um, even if hindi siya off-white, um, probably I would. Kasi parang yung mga monotone na medyo shocking. Like for example, yung vault colorway na off-white. Yung ganito na gato color. Even if hindi naman sila off-white ako, I would still rock them. With off-white or with Virgil Abloh's touch here, it became so unreachable sa mga middle class. <laughs> Post class. Oh, and oh, sir, I do think that tataas pa ang resell nito, kasi hindi na sila magre-release pa, na. Sabi nila. We'll never. We'll never. Pinaka -hype, eh. this, yung, this year. This year, I do believe ito yung pinaka hype na sneaker for 2019. Our second sneaker. If this one costed about 150,000, this one would cost about 200,000. Tama ba? Sa StockX, 4,000 to 5,000. Ito siya. It's a Nike sneaker. This one is the Nike Mars Yard. Or ito yung parang version 2? 2.0. 2.0. Mars Yard shoe 2.0 by Tom Sachs in 2017. Tom Sachs 2017. These shoes are only valid if worn and worn to death by you. Posers need to, need not apply. Little history on the sneakers. Si Tom Sachs used the same shoe for eight years. Five years. Five years, no. Tapos naka eight pairs yata siya. Pero same sneaker lang ginagamit niya every day. Para mag improve, kasi mo mag improve yung 1.0. Ah, oh. and then na release nga tung 2.0. Tom Sachs, November 16, 2016. Yung talagang pasya. Sinalatan niya. Alright, so without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox these bad boys. Una makita. Okay. Sir, you may parachute anong version yun? Yung 1.0. Yung material. 1.0. 1.0 ba? Hindi, yung may parang... Ah, yung 3. 3 yun. So ito yung... Over shoe. Oo. Over shoe. Alright. Yung parang ano, parang trash bag. Parang trash bag. Tapos pag ginupit mo, lalabas na ito mismo. No? Alright, so let's pull these out. Oh, ito siya. 
So before ko checking sneaker, check natin ko ano pa laman ng box. Inside the box, you have uh, cork. cork insoles ba? Ah, okay, dalawang insoles niya. Tapos meron siya mga nakasulat na mga parang hydrogen, helium, oxygen, carbon, neon. So, oh, yung ganda ng ano niya. Makita mo yung pan. Parang periodic table. Elements. Elements. Ayan. Yeah. Science. Science. Siya. And then, oh, makita, yung mga paddings niya makikita mo. Ito ang sucks. Bring obsession talaga sa ano. Sa space, space. And, and as well as meron siyang booklet Tom Sachs 2017 Nike Craft ano ba laman yun? ah kumbaga parang ito yung parang history niya something ito yung 1.0 na ginamit niya guys na sabi niya for 5 years ginagamit niya at talagang bini beat kasi, to death kasi gano'ng maganda yung material na ginamit sa 1.0 ito yung Mars Yard shoe yung pagkakagawa niya Oh, parang pinaka drawing or parang pinaka sketch niya up until nung dumating na tong 2.0 and then the hero's journey where siya sinasabi dito ayan ayan siya all right so just a little a background about the sneaker before we go ahead and actually review based sa mga nabasa ko itong sneaker na to you have to attend a camp or something parang training camp space camp, space camp. and then kapag Governor's Island. So, in order for you to be able to purchase one of these sneakers, kailangan makagraduate ka mo na dun, or matapos mo yung course. And then, pagkatapos mo yung course, ang dami niya papagawa sa'yo. May mga parang training talaga, like physical, physical training. Chance. And then, kung nakagraduate ka dun, or natapos mo yun, dun ka lang magkakaroon ng chance na bibilin mo pa, di ba? Hindi naman bibigay. Bibilin. And that is why these are so grilled quantities ito. Sobrang konti lang ang lumabas. Let's go ahead and check on the sneaker. Ay, may insole pa pala siyang kasama. So, let's check natin yung mamaya. Majority of the sneaker is covered using parang mesh. Very thin mesh material, no? So, I would think it's very breathable. Going dito sa tongue mo, you have this deconstructed... Oh, may deconstructed na pala that time, no? Sa bagay, oh. 2017 to, eh. Pero one thing na napansin ko dito is sobrang light ng ano niya. Sobrang light ng mesh niya. Like, sobrang breathable niya na... Para, sir, para siyang madaling mapunit, no? In, ano ko lang. Ito? Oo. Hindi, kasi parang improved yung una daw, napupunit. Kaya in-improve niya ng ibang material. Ah, oo. Actually, apart from the knit itself uh, dito, meron siyang mga lines pa, parang para madob madoble. Uh, may reinforcement siya, na parang nylon. Suede wrapping around the toe area, going here dito sa lace loops, even dito sa likod. Now, you have a red pull tab dito sa likod, canvas. Canvas strap. Mm -mm. And then inside the sneaker. Your swoosh is made out of felt like material in red. So inside the sneaker, you have this leather sock liner. So, sir, ano to no? Hindi siya, di mo siya na kung brand new no? Hindi. Used na siya. Used mm. na. Alright. So, yan, mezo ano siya. Mezo crinkled na leather material. Ay, yung ganito talaga itsura niya kahit DS. Like, medyo... Leather niya, parang hindi talaga yung... Hindi siya perfect. Perfect na brand yung na uh, Parang ano na rin, wrinkled na yung parang used na And as well as inside, you still have another insole. At yung insole niya has... Oh, ano na naman to, sir? Parang science, scientific... <laughs> scientific calculations na naman yata to. Not to scale protons, neutrons. Ayan, ayan siya. So, ito ay uh, yung mga parang normal lang na insoles. Yung kanina ay cork insoles. Ayan. Ang pinaka eye-catching dito would be yung chunky midsole niya. Kung di ako nakakamali, parang yung mga Roshi na or parang Nike Free. Yung datingan niya. Ayan o. Parang, parang tawag dito, parang meron na siya mga... Parang mas Mas durable siguro to, syempre. Pwede mong gamitin daw sa ano yan, sa horse. Ah, ayun siya. Mars Yard. Pang ano eh, hindi. Hindi, totoo. Ay, yung action. Oo. Dinisahin talaga yan para daw gamitin ng mga... Mas ano yan. Sa mga nag-work sa NASA. Sobrang durable, sobrang chunky ng ano, ng midsole na to. So, I would think, ano siya, talagang tatagal na tatagal na siya. Unlike yung nauna. Going to your outsole, you have distraction pods here. Uh, this one reminds me of a Nike Free na siguro mas makapal talaga. Mas makapal na Nike Free. Kasi if you... 
Ayun. Sobrang bendable niya. Diba may, ano, may mga callhan na ganito yung, para medyo ganito yung, ano niya? Zero grand. Zero grand. Oh. So, at least dito, flexibility and breathability, sobrang grabbing sneaker na to. Aesthetics-wise, very simple lang siya. No? Sobrang simple lang talaga niya. It's just that the story behind these sneakers, yung medyo nakaka- interest na ako, especially if you're on the science side, medyo ano ka. Artwork ni Tom Sachs is uh, directed towards space. Eh. ba? Diba? Kung medyo ma mahilig ka sa SpaceX, sa NASA, um, space. outer space. So, I think it's this one should be a must cap kung ganun ka ka, ano, so <laughs> siguro, no? Last detail na nalimutan ko pala, of course, dito sa tong you have this Nike branding or Nike tab here. And the laces here, ah, oh, oh. laces guys, wala siyang, oh nga no? Europe release yan. Hmm. Nalaman mo dun sa size tag. Dahil ang nauna, yung mga US release red. Ah, ito ay black. So, means galing. Pero this is 12 US, no? Oo, oh, pero yung tag yung black, na-release yan sa red. Actually, yan galing London. Oh. Uh, Europe release. So anyways guys, let me know what you guys think about these two sneakers. And itun dalawang sneakers lang na to. Again, these cost about 300 to 350,000 pesos. Let me know, guys, in the comment section down below if one of these sneakers are one of your grail sneakers. Do you plan to cop? Or in time ba? Ito ba yung isa sa mga pinapangarap mo na in time gusto mo, gusto mo rin talaga magkaroon. And at the same time, kung bago ka dito, please make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. And if matagal ka na rito to, thank you very much for sticking with me. Boss RD, thank you so much. Boss Jack, thank you. Boss, uwi ko na to. Hindi, joke lang. Alright, so I'll see you on the next one. Peace, guys.